The question isn't, can you use email to develop your personal brand? But it should be, why aren't we using email to amplify our brands? Email is still one of the most highly used communication tools, especially in industries like ours in meetings and events. So let's explore how we can capitalize on the hundreds of opportunities we have each day to promote our passions, our strengths, the talents and the beliefs of our personal brands. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne. And while social media may be the obvious choice to amplify our personal brands, it isn't the only choice. In fact, email is a great way to show off your personal brand to your clients, your prospects, and your friends. So today I'm going to show you eight ways that you can tweak your emails so you can infuse a little bit of your personal brand into each one. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I'm creating content around personal branding and LinkedIn each week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. So let's look at these eight ways that we can infuse our personal brand in our emails. The first way is through creating an enticing subject line. Getting someone to open our email is job number one. So let's make it easier for them by enticing them to open it with a compelling subject line. Depending on the nature of your email, your subject lines are going to look different. If you're working on a project together, your email subject line should be very clear about the project in which you're working on. So banish subject lines that simply read hi or following up. Especially those in the meetings and events industry, we have multiple priorities and we're working with multiple partners. So let's be clear in the subject line about who it is that we are and why we're reaching out. Tip number two, infuse your brand into your signature line. Your signature is a great place to showcase your personal brand. We can do this through including a headshot right there in the signature or through links to your website, your social media profiles, your blog, etc. You can also use one of your favorite quote, whether it's yours or someone else's, as a way of showing what it is that you believe about your brand. Tip three, include a place of reference. If your email is an introduction to yourself or your organization, mention where you may have met or worked with them before. Tracking the comings and goings of professionals in our industry is a full-time job. We're always on the move and we need your help in keeping track of where you're at now and maybe how we've worked together before. If you're struggling for a place of reference, use your LinkedIn network to make those connections. Tip number four, include a call to action. An email is simply information only unless there is a strong call to action or CTA included. By including that CTA, you're now encouraging a two-way dialogue and you start to build on that relationship with your client or prospect. Tip five, find commonalities. Personalize your email exchange by highlighting things you've learned about them with aspects to your personal brand. Finding commonalities and engaging with them in a friendly discussion helps your contact know, like, and trust you further and moves them further down the path to purchase. Tip six, add a little video. Use a video service like BombBomb, Dub, or Vidyard to add a little personality to your email with a short video. Make sure those videos are under a minute in length. Make sure to smile and look at the camera. And don't forget to share a little bit about your brand and background. And if you're looking for more information and a blog post to help you with your video creation, you can check out one that I created right here. Tip number seven, add a GIF. You can add more personality and character to your emails by adding a fun little emoji or GIF that reflect your brand. Ensure these touches echo your company's email guidelines and policies, and of course, the etiquette of your audience. And finally, be creative with your out of office message. Your out of office doesn't need to be stuffy and rigid. But you can add some personality to your out of office by telling your community where you're headed, especially if you're enjoying some of your passion projects or anything that ties back to your brand. Give them a glimpse of your out of office time and this helps them with the no like and trust factor as well. 
Do you feel these email strategies can work for you? I'd love to hear some of the strategies that you use when you communicate via email. Drop them in the comments below and share them with the community. And if you're looking for stories to share in your email and you need some insights about your personal brand, I encourage you to take my personal branding quiz that'll give you some insights into where you are currently and some resources to help elevate your personal brand. Head on over to leannecalderwood.com forward slash quiz to gain your insights today. My friend, consider changing up your emails to include a little bit more of your personal brand and that will also amp up the know, like, and trust factor with your intended audience. Best of luck with your emails, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.